All right, guys. This is Sean here again. Um, I realized in my uh, one of my previous videos for uh, a Chevy Malibu um, stability track, ABS light, traction light, I believe that comes on. Um, I posted a video about the uh, tone ring on the wheel bearing, um, how it corrodes off and flakes off, and will trip that light on. Um, I've got another Chevy Malibu in here and I wanted to try to do a better video and a couple other things to look for if you're trying to figure this out, you know, at your house, uh, kind of a DIY or uh, maybe even another technician looking for a quick, um, quick place to go. So I tried to hook a scan tool to this car and our scan tools are kind of dinosaurs here at this place. I work at part time uh, to help them out. And I wasn't able to. Um, I think the vehicle's too new. This is a 13. But that doesn't mean, you know, the other years are uh, a different situation. <clears throat> you know, the 12s, 13s, 14s. Uh, they have like 15 to 20 of them here. And um, they all kind of do the same thing when that light comes on. Um, sometimes it's it's just a wiring issue. And a lot of the times it's uh, the actual wheel bearing. And I'll show you why. Uh, I'm going to try to point it out the best I can here for you. So, again, I don't know um, which side or which wheel is tripping my ABS light because I cannot uh, access it with a scan tool. So I basically did my diagnostic just by doing a visual. And you guys can do that just as easy um, as, as I am. You know, obviously it's easier for me. I'm underneath a lift. But uh, if you jack them up in your driveway or well, whatever it may be, um, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to point out a couple things in the rear before I uh, show you the actual culprit of this one. Um, so right here, I'm going to show you. So this is a corroded up wheel bearing. Now this isn't def a defective one, but I want to show you a um, couple things here. So I'm going to try to balance this light. So without knocking it over so this guy right here that I'm pointing to that black dot is the ABS sensor okay and this right here is a tone ring all the way around it, it goes around just spins around I, I just cleaned a little bit of it off now what happens is that a magnetic strip flakes off and it gives that ABS sensor a faulty reading let me show you this side. This side's a little bit cleaner. Okay, so this car probably already had an issue on the right rear and that's been changed. Um, that tone ring's a lot cleaner. Now what I found the other day on one of these is, uh, I'll bring you back over to this side. So I didn't see anything wrong with the tone ring, but it had a light on. I believe it was left rear. Now all the dirt and, and all that other crap that you see collected on that tone ring, what it actually ended up doing was sanding down that ABS sensor a little bit on the inside so what it ended up doing was creating too large of an air gap it sanded it down so far that the air gap now I say the air gap that's the distance between the ABS sensor and that tone ring so it sanded it down so much it wasn't close enough to get a reading and then you know it ended up damaging the sensor um, so basically the fix for that was replace the sensor that was easy so if the tone rings not damaged um, could be the could be the uh, sensor, but I highly recommend you know if you replace a sensor, most definitely clean all that dirt off, you know blow it off, brake clean it, whatever you have to do, spray it off with water. Um, I definitely did that with the one I replaced the ABS sensor on. It's it's going to collect with crap again, but you got to do the best you can to keep it off. And this side I'll just show you again. It's super clean. It's got a little gunk on it, but it's not a big deal. So up here in the front, so just doing a visual, I peeled back the collar. I'm not, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. Hopefully you can. So I peeled back the collar, probably shouldn't have. But inside that is the same style tone ring. And this one 
you can kind of see it in between the uh, collar and the knuckle, the aluminum part. So there's like a, a two inch section where it's flaked off. Okay, now the collar's not normally like that. Let me see if I can try to get a better shot here. You can kind of see, I'll rotate it a little bit. You can kind of see inside of there. Right there, right there, see that? See that crack in the, um, in the tone ring? There's a section of that missing. Now I don't know the code on this car, but I can guarantee to you that this is the code that this car has, the left front, based on just doing a visual. The other side looks fine. And again, this collar is not normally peeled back, but I did it just so I could show you guys if you want to do a visual. The only reason I peeled this one back is because I could kind of kind of see in through, and it looked damaged to me. So I peeled it back just so I could show everybody. I'll show you this side, how hard it's kind of to see. And when I peeked in there, this side looked like it was nice and clean, so I didn't worry about it. The other thing on the older ones that I've seen is a connector that connects is uh, up in this area on a silver bracket in like an inch or two away from the connector where it connects onto the uh, actual wheel bearing connector. The wire corrodes underneath the conduit and it breaks. So if you have the light, that's another culprit. The ABS traction light, that's another culprit. This is This style's different than the one where the wire normally corrodes. This one has a solid wire all the way through. The older ones I'm talking about has the wire on the wheel bearing, but the connector comes up here, sits on the silver bracket, and then the body harness connects onto that. And then the wire corrodes on the body side. You can either fix the wire or replace the, the uh, re you know, fix it, solder it, splice in one, or just replace it, they are replaceable. This one here, the fix for this, is putting a new wheel bearing in it. You cannot fix that tone ring. It's just one hub assembly. Um, it's not that awful to do as long as it's not too corroded in that aluminum knuckle. Hopefully that's helpful uh, to somebody with this uh, light on. Um, or maybe even just an explanation with somebody that has this issue in the shop saying, Hey, you need a wheel bearing. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, this is the most common that I find with these. Alright everybody, thanks for viewing.